is up adventure buddies spring is in the air got the mesh gear on heading out gonna try out some new luggage today gonna go up to the top of a little hill and set up camp I'll show you everything I got packed in these bags stick around Let's take a look at these bags on the bike. First of all, I think these things are great on the KTM 500. Um, and they'd probably look just as good on any other dual sport bike. But I like the way they sit. I like the way where they're placed. I like where the weight is. These things just fit on here perfectly. I'm really impressed with the fit and form. And uh, all the straps, cinch straps, everything they put on these things. Everything is in the right spot for lightweight dual sport camping. Duffel bag fits nicely in between the two bags. I think the 25 liter hits the sweet spot. I really like how you could cinch these down here. You got the side cinches and then it has this other strap that comes across that pulls it to the bike. That's your final operation right there. After you have everything loaded, the roll top rolled, these tightened, these buckled, you cinch it down and it stays very nicely on here. I mean, look at this. I'm yanking on it and it's pulling the whole bike with it. It's not flopping at all. I really like that a lot. My other bags I had, uh, they flopped all over the place. And on videos, you could actually see them flopping around like big old dog floppy ears. These are solid. Really impressed. I have all my camping gear in here. And uh, I'm not going to go through an unpacking with you to show you what I have in here. But I will pull everything out, set it down, and show you what I get, can get in these bags. I think you'll be surprised. And I do pack luxury items, so I spoil myself a little bit. All right, I'll start pulling everything out and show you in a second. After I took off the dry duffel, that there are the D-rings here. One here, one here, one here, one here. That if you didn't have the tail rack, you attach your dry duffel to the D-rings, sucks it down right here on the seat and the fender, it holds it right in place perfectly. But um, yeah, I have the rack, so I just strap everything here. Here's a quick look at what I have packed in there. I'm gonna pull it all out and set it next to the bag. Okay, so here's everything that I have packed in that bag. I have my tent stakes, my sleeping pad, I have two pillows and an air pump. I have a Sea to Summit pot, bowl, and a collapsible cup. I have my tent, chair, my table back there in that black skinny thing, and then my cook system, my Fire Maple X3, all right here. That's all that I put in that bag right there. Okay, so in this side bag here, I have my tow buddy, pair of gloves, spare pair of gloves, some toilet paper, tool roll, air pump, sleeping bag, nice warm jacket, and some nice warm pants for chilling at camp. All right, and on in the right side, I have mountain house meal, toiletries, a little bag of like food and other things, a bag of clothes, a little dry pod. That thing with the duct tape is my tire irons and the thing in the bag is my spare tube. And basically that's it. It's a lot of stuff. All in that. Pretty cool. I could have fit a lot more in if I wanted to. These things, I rolled them up pretty tight. I could have easily fit like a pair of shoes and just some other stuff, whatever. Some creature comforts if I wanted. But that's it, that's everything I fit inside. So after you get all the buckles done on this thing, there's one last strap, which I'm glad they put this on here because this thing finished, it's like icing on the cake. So you take this one here, stick it in there, and you cinch this. 
and you could you could still hear air coming out of the bag but what it does is it it just pulls this to the, the bike and it's amazing it helps so much that just one little thing right here and they give you strap keepers everywhere on here i mean you could hide all your straps you can cut them if you want i mean this is honestly really long i don't think you need this much but whatever there you go strap keeper done this thing is tight just make sure you close that so you don't get any water in there and there you go and it also has underneath let's see let's go down here underneath it has buckles here two buckles and you can put accessories here they have rig packs or you could put water bottle holders in here they also carry those these just would go right through the molly webbing so i don't know if you could hear it but this one also has the air purge valve um there's a creek running down there it's pretty loud so but yeah you can pack this thing down pretty good strap it straps up super nice let's pull these back over boom I have this one tight there we go and these are just extra sin straps these are also a handle too but I took the handle off I didn't like it so, there we go when you buy the hurricane dry duffel bags they do come with the rig straps which come with heavy-duty webbing patented cam hook design and it gives you uh, a variety of gear tie down options. You could hook it to itself or you could hook it to any molly webbing on a bag, on another bag, you could hook things to it. They're really user friendly. If you have any questions about the install, head over to the Nelson Rig website and there's a great tutorial. All right, adventure buddies, I have a special deal for you. In the description, there'll be a promo code agenda to use at nelsonrig.com. You'll get 20% off and free shipping on anything you buy. Also, there'll be another affiliate link for Revzilla. Either one of those links that you click go to help support my channel, and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe on the trail. Peace.